welcome back guys. We're here at the cabin and I want to give you an update as to what's going on with the shower house. Stay tuned. Well, it's certainly a lovely um, spring day here in the 20 degrees. Why am I wearing this uh, hoodie you say? Well, the bugs are ridiculous. So <laughs> right now I've got mosquitoes and black flies out while we're trying to work and uh, it's a little challenging as you can see. You can see right there I've got a black fly bite right by my eye and one kind of on my face and uh, Oh, look at that, like on my arm, it's brutal. Yesterday I was out in the back 40 and I had to like, I literally sprayed myself several times, three times in two hours to try to keep the bugs away and it still didn't help. I'm just covered in bites. So I guess I gotta get a full bug suit. <laughs> so uh, let's head over to the shower house and see what we're doing for our water collection system. First off, let's take a quick look. Um, this used to hang off of that side of the shed. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this barrel actually. Oh man, it is heavy. So full of water actually it fell over um, so this is an old barrel that we had we used to collect rainwater in it to do you know put up fires things like that water the plants and also um, we would slake the outhouse we need a couple pails of water and stuff and it didn't need to be super clean or anything so anyway we're not going to set this up at this location anymore this is actually going to go down to the shower house as well uh, it will still be used as sort of our you know you know not super clean water um, for putting out fires for you know doing all the things I mentioned earlier so let's just take a look at the setup. We also have a nice clean water setup um, that we'll be using for showering. All right, so here we are at the shower house and it's pretty easy to set up. So you need 12 feet on either side of the gutters. So we've got one set up right here. We only have enough supplies completely to do one side. So we're gonna pick the shower side first. Um, we're gonna be putting gutters there and on the back. Um, the one off the front will be for basically for our, you know, water for like putting up fires and stuff like that. And on the back will be for the showers because it's going to be a lot warmer. Um, sort of back here, this gets really hot back here. I was just draining stuff from the barrel from before. But uh, I don't even know if I'm going to have to coat this black. I know a lot of you watched the last video and commented about painting it black, covering it with black plastic wrap. Um, this faces right into the sun. The sun arcs all the way across here it starts there it moves all the way across um so it's gonna be fairly warm back here in the field i mean i've clocked the temperature at around 60 degrees sometimes 60 degrees celsius so um i think it'll be okay but i can certainly you know paint it black if i need to so it's gonna be set up on this platform and right up here we've got gutters we're gonna put down and then um a downspout and i've got a special kit to connect directly to this barrel here i picked it up it's a fundraiser, I think, for a, a church or something like that. So, we'll uh, get going with that. And the brown barrel will probably sit right there for the front setup. So you can see here, already kind of made it up. There's the downspout's gonna go there. And uh, I've got the different little brackets there to hold it onto the shed, the shower house rather. Um, had to join two sections together here because we don't quite have the full 12 feet length um, so they'll be connected there and we don't have enough of these for the the other front gutter there that's okay I really want to set up the back one today I really want to get going uh, for having some shower water all right there we go now I can think not just my little bug hood they bite me elsewhere it doesn't matter but like getting me on my face in the back of my neck is a little much so all right let's get ready and hang that gutter I'm just gonna drill a hole now to fit with the downspout Right now, I'm just gonna go hang up the gutters. <laughs> and the joinery failed. Awesome. And there we go, got the gutter installed on a bit of an angle there, so uh, it'll drain right into the barrel. 
All right, so we're gonna do a temp fix uh, with this. We don't have, we have the aluminum downspout, but we don't have the elbows to kind of angle it to get into the bin. So we're just gonna put temporarily some flexi tube uh, to collect the water that's gonna come in the next few days. So uh, we will get on that. And then um, eventually I'm gonna show you guys the full, the full deal here once we have all of the parts. So here's the rain barrel um, diversion kit. So basically you can see it attaches right there to this little pipe there and it goes up. What we're gonna do is put it against the wall. So we're gonna screw it to the wall there and uh, if you had the diversion set up, it would go down another downspout right there and you know down to the ground or into another barrel system. Um, you can hook them up in series. And there's the, we're gonna put that black flexi tube into here for now because we just don't have the elbows permanent setup. So this is the black flexi tube from the previous setup. So I'll be using that just to kind of do a temp collection like right right there. We're going to screw that on and then it'll go to basically the top of that. So uh, yeah, that we'll be able to have some water the next time we're up hopefully. Some rain is forecast this week so looking forward to it. Then I'm going to sort of set up the plumbing inside. Right, so now we just measure the uh, downspout there at uh, 45 inches. So I've just measured it there. Let's cut it. done. Let's uh, get her installed. Perfect. And it's kind of putting a screw right through here. Hold it on. That uh, should be perfect. All right, so there, it's all done. This part right in there, a little bit temporary um, until we get the rest of the materials in. I'll put a bit of bleach in the barrel there. I know I'm gonna have to replace that and, you know, each time, because obviously the uh, UV breaks down the, the bleach, but um, you'll see that white tubing kind of right there. It's got a bit of a mylar case on top of it so that um, the UV doesn't degrade the tubing. So I think uh, I've got a good start. Well, thanks guys for tuning in to today's little project here at the cabin. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to keep working on the shower house and I will keep you posted. Have a great week as always. Take care.